We're in Valerie Lund's barn with El Encanto, number five in race one on Wednesday night. This horse looks like a runner. It's a Washington bred by Attaboy Roy. How did you come about this horse? Um, I go to the Washington sale most years because I, they've got some, they raise some really nice horses there. That's where I bought Attaboy Roy. It's where I bought Bodenheimer. Um, so I go there to look over what they've got. And I saw this colt and I was just in love. I went, wow, this is a good looking colt. So I called uh, Barry and Joni and said, you know, we ought to buy this colt. He's nice. Rock solid connections with the Butzos, the owner. Valerie Lund, very good with first time starters. You told me that this colt is smart. What does that mean? You know, there's a lot of two year olds that just, they don't know what they're doing and they don't want to rate and they don't want to think about the race. But this colt is so smart, he'll sit and you can send him on late. You can, whatever you want to do with him, he just does and he doesn't complain about it. To me, that's a very smart two year old. So this is kind of a who's who of trainers, right? We've got your horse, we've got Mac, we've got Joel Burnt, some of the top barns at Canterbury. With well-bred horses, do you expect to see some speed here? Speed generally wins these kind of races. What, what do you expect out of this horse? Um, well, I expect to see speed in the race from both Joel's horse and from Mac's horse. My colt, again, is so smart. If those two duel really hard, he'll sit a little and then he'll come on. And we've practiced that a lot in the morning, sitting and then finishing. Um, I don't have another colt in the barn as fast as him, so we've worked them together and then let him finish out, and he's real smart about that. Number five, Ellen Canto, race number one. It starts the post-time pick four, crucial leg for your betting endeavors.